16th uh, meeting of the Board of Equalization to order. At this moment, there are two of us present. Um, Brent is here and I am here. Um, we've got one, two, three, seven, eight items to consider today. We're going to start with BOE number 11, which is Taylor Atwood, uh, 16512. Oh, I should say that notice of the meeting was properly posted on March the 13th. Okay, BOE item number 11, the um, assessor suggested a value of uh, 291500 The um, property owner um, wanted us to set the value at um, $265,000. Um, I'm going to accept the assessor's value. I am correct, am I not, $291,500? That is correct, correct. Uh, I, I decided on that because there was an appraisal for that and um, there was an asking price of 280 so we're now being asked to set the value at um, the sales price of 265 but I, I arrived at the assessor's value of 291500 as I looked at this, uh, comparables were, uh, I thought, were in line uh, with it. In fact, it may have been just a little bit lower uh, value compared to some of the comps uh, that were in the 300s. So I uh, would accept the assessor's valuation as well. And I would move such that uh, BOE number 11, we accept the assessor's valuation. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All right. So we'll move on to the second item, which is BOE number nine, the Default Trust 1116 Aberley Circle, Arcadia. This was the curious one. It's a private neighborhood. His main gripe was lack of maintenance by the city, which has no responsibility for this area. It was a purchase price of $759,000 in 2016. He wants the value at this moment to be 780,781. The assessor has a value of 960,500. Is that correct, Mike? Yes, ma'am. All right. Um, the median value was 960,652. Um, so I didn't see any reason to. Um, why do I have 900000 written over here? Did you make an offer to lower during the hearing? You did not on no, this one? No, I did not on this one, no. Okay. All right. What did you come up with, Brent? Um, looking at this one, I did, I did not feel that uh, the uh, owner's <coughs> arguments about the, uh, the road condition, the private road, or the uh, water plant for the city of Edmond, which is, was there before the neighborhood was purchased. And once it's complete, we'll be probably put in a lot better uh, uh, stead than it is right now. Uh, looking at the comps, it was, uh, for adjusted sale prices, it was in line uh, with those. So I felt like the, uh, the adjusters uh, values were correct and therefore I would move that we accept uh, the uh, assessor's, value. assessor's value I'm sorry not adjusters assessor's valuation on uh, BOE number nine I second all in favor aye all right and what was that value nine hundred and sixty thousand five hundred all right thank you all right and moving along to I'm trying to turn my phone off Okay, the next item is item number 14, 17517, is it Egret's Landing, Mike? That is correct. All right, and the 13-year average is where the value was set at 885500 The um, property owner wants us to do 
780,000. Is this the man that... This is the one that uh, made the was a family purchase. Yeah, for 650. So it wasn't, an, it wasn't an arm length purchase. That's right. Sale. And what he put into it, he said, brought the value up to 782. Seven. And I accepted the assessor's value of 885,500. In my opinion, uh, I think the assessor nailed this one as well, based on uh, comparables in the area. Uh, I think the, arm, the uh, sale was not an arm length uh, sale. Uh, it was artificially low. So uh, I would be willing to access, accept the assessor's valuation on item number 14, BOE number 14, and move that we uh, accept that uh, valuation. I second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. So we've set uh, BOE 14 at 895500 Okay, moving on to the next one. Um, BOE number 18 is um, 15901 Hardwick Edmund. The assessor has it set at 301500 because the median uh, was 312500 and 6 with a median year of 21.8. So we have a difference here of 280,000 to 301. Now, as I recall, he, the asking price for this was 260. He bought it in June of 22 for 290,500 and says he overpaid, but overpaying nonetheless in his words, sets the value of a willing buyer and seller. So he bought it for 290 but wants us to set the value at 280 uh, Not a good look. Yeah, I don't see any justification in, in that. Um, this is the uh, owner that uh, sort of argued with us that the comparables were not in the neighborhood, and we, we were able to show that they were in the neighborhood and within a very relatively short time period. Uh, so I think we, uh, in my opinion, we uh, accept the assessor's valuation of 301500 uh, and I would thus move uh, so on item number 18. And a second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, so BOE 18 is set at 301,500. We've now been joined by the chair, Pat Crowley. Yeah, I think that there. It's true. It's all right. Oh, well, we can pause for a few minutes and let Pat mm -hmm. get uh, up to speed. Okay. Thank you. Hope you're all right. Yeah, I just I think it scraped my foot a little bit and hurt my leg. What'd you do? I fell down between the car and the oh. curb, and a couple of ladies come on, <laughs> pick me up. You gotta have to give me a primer on how to use this. Do all right. Thing. The OE number 10, that was 23040 Lauren Lane, Edmund. This was the gentleman who um, kept touting the fact that he was a broker price person, so broker price opinions is what he was going on. The assessor has this valued at 1 million. 
9,000, correct? Correct. And the taxpayer um, initially said 810,900, but he changed his mind and brought it up to 865,000. $851.11. This is an April 2022 sheriff's sale where he purchased for $627,000. Put a, put less than $200,000 in it. And sorry, um, may I interrupt real quick? Sure. I wanted to let you know too that. The original value was one million nine thousand. Dropped to nine sixty. Correct. Yes. I've got an arrow yep. going there. Yep. I see that. Yeah. Um, the value of his trips from Oregon in and the improvements that he spent added to the six twenty seven is how he arrived at the eight hundred and sixty five thousand dollar figure. He rents it for four thousand nine hundred and ninety nine dollars a month. <coughs> I think the assess the uh, adjustment of the assessor was more than fair. It was forty nine thousand uh, dollar lessening in value between the initial valuation and the ultimate valuation of uh, nine hundred and sixty thousand dollars. So I accept the. Well, I think we're we're I'm toying between the million and the nine sixty. I mean, I think it was. Benevolent, $49,000. And his only rationale, he accepts the fact that it was not an arm's length transaction, but nonetheless sticks it as his initial price to add on, to get up to 865. Now he did, did he, he didn't make any presentation on comps, did he? Is this, is this the one that was stuck on the multi-list? This one, didn't we have pictures of the yeah. updated inside? Yes. Yeah. yeah. And it's quite, quite immaculate for our 5,333 yeah. square feet with a four car yeah. garage. I'm, I'm kind of like Miss Thompson here. I'm 2.97 acres. I'm, I'm stuck at 1 million and whatever. Uh, nine. Mm -hmm. And looking at the 960, looks like a gift. It's a, yeah, you know, it's a very difficult neighborhood to get comps, uh, comps to comps unless they're adjusted, and I think the adjusted, the adjustments are in line. Yes, it's it's a it appears when you look at it on the internet to be a million dollar plus home. Yeah, and then backed up by the assessor's uh, documentation, and I, I feel like it is nine hundred and sixty is a more than fair valuation at this point. So. Uh, I would like to move on BOE number 10 that we accept the assessor's valuation of $960,000. That's it. I second that. All right. All in favor? Aye. 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 So we set the value of BOE number 10 at 960. dollars Let the record reflect. I think we could have been just as good as to leave it at a million. <laughs> I'll accept the nine six. All right. The next item is BOE number one. Um, this is the engineer, isn't it? Um, Terrence yeah, it Chapman. Yeah, the, yes, yes, you are correct. Uh -huh. Okay, so the assessor started out at six hundred and thirty thousand and lowered it to six hundred, six hundred thousand four hundred. Um, the owner just could not get much above $180 a square foot in his mind, even though his house is on the golf course. And he's asking for a value of uh, $533,197. I don't um, know if a house in that Rose Creek condition would be able to be built for 189 a square yeah. foot. Mm, yeah. What do you think? Yeah. It's it's a, a two hundred plus square foot area uh, 
assuming everybody, you know, anybody who builds out there is going to build consistent with the rest of the neighborhood. So. Well, one other thing, if it was uh, in 22, the valuation was 519500 So he, there's a very minor increase on what he wants now over a year ago. The difference between 519.5 and 533. And just for the area with no real negative impact, that's what happened last year in the market, that's not a reasonable raise in my opinion. Right, we've been seeing you know, rates of 15, 17 <coughs> plus. Percent uh, rates. On, mm -hmm. just, on just some smaller properties. Right. right. Well, I agreed with the assessor's value at 600,400. Brent, I agree too. Okay, I have a motion. Move to assess the value of BOE number one, which is 16716 Little Leaf in a Rose Creek condition at 600,400. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Um, we'll move on to BOE. The last one is. Well, we need to do no. seven first. And then, then there's the lady that didn't show up. Right. Yes, so Mr. Crowley, I informed the other members uh, before the meeting, so uh, Jerry and Linda Cutter, they, they were the ones that didn't show up. Um, I did receive a call from them um, that uh, just very much genuinely forgot, didn't seem to blow it off or anything. So talked to my supervisor, she said it's y'all's discretion if you want to go ahead and just defer this to a future meeting or go ahead and set it today. So that's up to y'all if you want to take a vote on that. I think by statute we need to reset it at least the one time. Uh, so we'll just reset it to a new date. What what perfect? Date, what date do we have? Um, that'll just depend on kind of what our schedule looks like. I don't think you probably need to specify a date as long as you say defer defer to a future meeting. Okay. Then we can just work with her on finding that date. Yeah, because we meet Monday, and I'm not sure that would be really. First of all, you need to ask them if they can come. Monday, yeah, right? yeah. And then then you've got a notice. Well, yeah, issue. that okay. yeah. Yeah. So, so, we'll so okay. she she more than likely will be pushed back at least two weeks. But yeah, yeah. Okay. We'll okay. work with her. That's fine. Okay, so I'd like to move uh, on item number seven that we uh, defer BOE number 16, uh, 10 7 1 12 Sunset Boulevard to a future uh, meeting. Second. second. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We got, a, we got a motion and a second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Uh, we're at BOE now, BOE 16, Jerry and Linda Cutter. Uh, that was that, that was just one. Different. Different. Oh, that's mm -hmm. one we're yeah. deferred. Oh, really? Escobar, Escobar, uh, uh, BOE number two. Jesus. Yes. Uh, <coughs> yeah. This is one that you know I felt like the gentleman has just this has this property has a lot of issues uh, to it. Uh, assessor valuation of 164500 The taxpayer is asking for $150,380. Uh, this is actually, the assessor's valuation is actually a 9% reduction over the prior year uh, of 187000 valuation. Uh, the assessor uh, Place this and was it the fair category now as far as a property grade? Correct. It's been downgraded from average basically to fair. Is that average the correct term? Or yes, sir. Okay. Let, let me understand because I've got to, I always put an arrow down if you have lowered it. So we went from 187 down to 183, but I still have this error. What is this 164.5? Is that presently what you're asking? We, based on the lowering of the condition from average to fair, okay. it was brought down from the value of 183 originally to 164.5. Right, okay. And he's asking for 130. And I'm, uh, I'm kind of in disagreement. Uh, this house, would probably be condemned if the city were to come in and find what he said was happening where the 
it's sinking in the middle. Uh, from on top of the sinkhole, I don't know, but the walls are cracking and they're coming in. Uh, in my experience, usually the, the, a property like that gets condemned. So <coughs> taxpayers asking for 150380 for a house that's <laughs> subject to being condemned, I think that's more than fair. So I'm at I'm at the taxpayers' value of one hundred and fifty thousand three eighty. What do you think, Frank? Well, if if everything that if everything is as he said, and I don't have any reason not to agree. In this case, I I could probably support. A drop of maybe to 100, 150. Okay, that he's asking for. This is one of those that you know you. It's not a normal situation, right? In my mind. Yeah. And uh, we can certainly. I still think he probably still has some room in his. Does he have some room in his taxable compared to his market value? What? I don't have that number on hand as of right now. Um, he does have homestead on the property. I believe he does have a little bit of uh, room to work with on the taxable, but I don't have that okay. number in front of me. Okay. So, uh, how do you feel? I uh, the difference between one sixty four five and five one five. I guess I'm. This is. Um, I, I really wanted to know why there was the issue. That's why I asked him if he was on a corner, if this was a grave issue, if somebody else in the neighborhood was having the same problems he was having. Um, and it's more of an emotional issue. I mean, the man sat here and cried, and his wife has left him and all that. <laughs> yeah. I didn't have a problem with the, the fact that he, the assessor had uh, um, dropped it. Twenty, I said nineteen thousand mm. dollars. Yeah, I, I understand. It just there was no evidence to show that he, what he was saying, saying wasn't was true. was absolutely true. Okay. Uh, and the picture at least supported it somewhat. You know, there would have been nice to have more pictures, but. Uh, when when somebody comes in and testifies uh, to something, unless there's we've got something to rebut it, I accept it as being true. Okay. So okay. anyway, that's that's why I'm I'm at the taxpayers. <laughs> if he had asked for fifteen thousand, I'd have gone with it because I think the house is about to be condemned. Uh, now he may get he may get it all fixed up. Then we'll just be, we'll, uh, we'll raise it to the market value. But right now, the market is, as anybody goes in there and sees the floors is, is down and uh, the walls are coming in, they are going to buy that thing, not for not for $150,000. So. Well, it, it would be a hard sale property just because of the uh, water and drainage issues. Right. Probably. And they're not going to get any better unless something change, it changes it. Anyway, that's that's where I'm at. Okay, gonna move. Got a motion? Yes, I'd like to move on uh, item number eight, BOE number fifteen. Uh, the property at six two one two Southeast one hundred and sixty uh, first Street in Oklahoma City. Uh, that we um, set the valuation at one hundred and fifty thousand three hundred and eighty dollars. Uh, the taxpayer request uh, for this year. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. That's all the items on the agenda. Let's start any public comments. And then we'll just confirm that we are, we'll meet on Monday. That is correct. We are meeting Monday the 20th, Wednesday the 22nd, and then decision day will be the 24th. 
move to adjourn. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Not a reflection on you all. On that. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Hey, Gary. Oh, my mom, I love me. Stop the recording.